before the break, Kathleen shared tips for saving money on your activities this summer. But another way to keep things cheap and cheerful is to cut down on your food waste. Am I right, Chef? Food waste and specifically salads yes. are like the most wasted thing ever. We like it's too expensive for us to be wasting our food, right? We need to rethink the way we use our product, so or our produce. So you're actually going to make a food waste salad. That's right. There are some ingredients in it that yeah. aren't things that we would normally throw out. Mm -hmm. But we're going to jump into this segment talking about pickling. Pickling. Uh, pickling yep. is something I've done on the show before. Yep. In the pot here, I have some vinegar, apple cider vinegar, mm -hmm. and then we're also going to add a little bit of water. Okay. So that I'm going to add in some fun, in, in, exciting ingredients. So we yeah. have mustard seed and black peppercorn. Nice. If at home you want to add in like. Uh, cinnamon, bay leaf, star anise, you can do any of that. Yeah. Can you crush a garlic clove what, for me? What, does that depend on the flavor you're looking for? If yeah, you it's, want total, it to go, it's totally like, up to you. Another great way to use whole spices that have been hiding in your cupboard since, you know, you were a teenager. Do I just throw it in like this? Yeah, yeah, the garlic <laughs> the clove. The spices from 1987? That's it, that's yeah. it. So the garlic cloves goes in, we bring this to a simmer. Okay. And the reason why we pickle things and why it was used a lot back in the day for canning, etc., is because the acidity is so high, bacteria can't form. Right. So if you have beets going bad, carrots going bad, yes. celery, leaves, yeah. everyone throws them out. Right. We refresh them as a chef in ice water, we put them on salads. Oh, nice. So we add our celery leaves into there. Yeah. Also, who, show of hands, throws out their broccoli stems? Not a good, put the hands down, not a good look, okay? It's wrong. So we're gonna chop up into nice little coins. Yeah. We have uh, these broccoli stems, which are awesome. So broccoli stems go into the pickling liquid. Okay. Uh, the hotter the pickling liquid, the faster it'll pickle. Yeah. But I like to cool it down first and then pickle them for a few weeks because then they, they, okay. that way they retain the crunch. I love that. And remember, back in the day, the reason why they did these things as well is because there often wasn't refrigeration. So if you're looking exactly. to keep anything for a really long time, uh, the pickling, even the seasoning. That's why we're big on seasoning in the West Indies and all these places around the world. It's a way of of keeping food longer, right? I have my West Indies shoes today, oh, by the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cute. No doubt. Okay, so our pickling is good to go. Broccoli okay. stem I keep for later. Now, we talked about that dressing earlier, right? That yes. creamy cumin yogurt. Are you going to so, make it for us? Uh, you're going to make it. Okay. I've done enough work today. You have. I'm going to chill. Uh, he so did we have, the chicken. We have yogurt in the bowl. Yeah. We'll add some chaat masala. Okay. Chaat masala is just outstanding. It's great with fruits. It's great with different types of preparations. It's just so, just, you got to smell it. Oh, that's good. Uh, man, so cumin, coriander, dried green mango powder known as umchur goes in there. Let's add some jeera. So this is toasted cumin. Okay. We'll add honey. Yeah. And then we're going to add lemon zest and lemon juice. Got it. While so you're doing that. Honey, honey. We yeah. have so much to talk about and we have like not a lot of we time to do seconds, it. We have two seconds. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> we have more than two seconds. Carrot Go tops. Ahead. Talk about the tings. Carrot tops are over here, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> the tings. <laughs> talk the tings. Okay. So these get chucked often. And uh, we can make pestos and chimichurris, gremoladas using this. So I'm going to take the carrot stems, the carrot tops. Okay. I'm going to chop this, add this into my bowl. Nice. Just like that. Uh, we have carrots as well. I brush them with a clean scrubby. These get chopped as well. So Guess what? So, Chef, you say stop stop uh, taking the skin off of our carrots. You don't need to do that. Just make sure that it's clean. Clean it. And we have a dedicated scrubby that we keep to yeah. brush, uh, brush the carrot. You need cilantro for Did that creamy cumin yogurt. Ginger garlic paste is not in the recipe, but guess what? It'll taste amazing. So do it? Go, put okay. it in there. All right. See, I like how you let me freestyle. Yep. And did you say salt? Yes, we'll do a little bit of salt. Okay. Uh, another thing, this is Julie Mango from Guyana. Yeah. So a very special, special mango. Okay. Uh, when I slice it, you know what I'm going to do? Oh, man, you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> is I'm going to slice it, but what am I doing? Uh, you're keeping the skin on. I'm telling you, if you rethink the way that you cook and the rethink the way that you know you eat things like apples, I eat the entire core now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So whole mangoes you're going into the salad. Nothing. Good we for also you. have some more ingredients going into here. Okay. We have like dill and mint I love dill. and scallion. Yeah. And with the mint and the dill, chop the stems. So herb stems are also really, really important. Okay. Uh, if anybody follows me and watches my videos and different things that I'm doing uh, all the time, mm -hmm. you'll notice that there's a lot of food waste stuff happening. Yeah. So all of these ingredients go into the bowl. I, I watch you. I watch your channel. I see the comments <laughs> and the likes. Big love. I give you lots of love. I yeah. love it. I, I love do. it. Cabbage goes into this bowl as well. Uh -huh. And also we're using the white of the cabbage. I just shave it really, really thin. Good. Even the base of my romaine, I'm shaving it really, really thin. 
in. You're so, using everything. Yeah, definitely. So compile. Everything can be used. Compile all these ingredients. Yeah. Hit it with this beautiful creamy cumin yogurt dressing. I hope I did a good job. You killed it. I think I did. It smells amazing. The yeah. chaat masala, and then top it with those pickled celery leaves, and it's incredible. Also, throw some tandoori chicken on it. Why not? Let's have fun. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got to wrap it up. This recipe is at. Uh, <laughs> he's in love. Cityline.tv.